Hello, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Toy Story 2, the action game. So, we just beat the construction yard, uh, whatever that is, that, don't remember that in the movie. Now we're on Owies and Gullies, another level that they added just for this game. A very, um, interesting level this is. And this is also the first level, and probably the only level, where we can't even go to most of it on our first, uh, attempt at it. Are these I'm characters? <laughs> oh, we waited countless years for this day. It's good to see you working. Listen, I don't know what. Hey, how do you know my name? Everybody yeah, how? Your name, Woody. Well, I mean, they didn't really do a great well, job of explaining this in the game. Are, do you? <laughs> Bullseye. I've always found it interesting that uh, pic the Pixar games tend to have like movie clips in them, at kind of as like rewards. Like the Bugs Life game, your reward for getting all 100% on a level was a movie clip from the movie. <laughs> and I, as a kid, I'm like, this is awesome. Then I'm like, wait a second, I could just watch the movie. All right, level five, Owies and Goies. For some reason, Ham is the mascot. It does have awesome music though, and it's raining out. Yeah, right now we can get the ham token, the one that's just lying out, and the race token. Okay, so these are airplanes, and that's the box that spawns them. You can destroy the box, despite what you might think. And that is not a way to get infinite coins, by the way. Doo doo! Yeah, I really like the music on this stage. Hey, oh boy, it's Rex. What useless tip do you have for me? The mother duck has lost her ducklings. She's near the central drain. Yeah, we can't get all the ducklings on our first playthrough of this level. Nor can we even reach the boss. So we'll have, we'll definitely be coming back to here. Probably in the same episode we go back to Andy's neighborhood. I'll try to fit all of the, we're going back to this level into one video because there are only three we're going to have to return to. And <laughs> it's only to get one or two tokens each, so that should actually average out to be a very nice, uh, single episode. So if we go over here, this is an annoying part of the level. We've got a giant river going through the city, and the underwater physics are terrible. Actually, they're not terrible, they're just terrible to move around in. Especially since Buzz is like, oh no, a slope! My space training has not trained me to get through slopes. Oh yeah, that's right. Once we get a certain gadget, we can move through the water much easier. But we won't be able to get that until we come back later. Thank goodness Buzz doesn't like short out when he encounters water. Oh okay. boy. So reaching that central platform can be annoying, but, oh boy, here's Slinky Dog. Hey, uh, Buzz. hey Slinky. <laughs> Howdy, Buzz. If you can bring me five bones before you run out of time, I'll give you a pizza planet token. So most of the bones are just fairly easy to get. Oh, man. If you fall off, though, it's annoying. Hope you're good at changing directions mid-jump. And if you can, well done! You found all the bones! Here's your pizza planet token. I, I love that racing music. Alright, that's one of the free tokens we can get. I'm also going to try to get this one up, because I did die, I think, on the construction yard. Yeah. There are only two courses in the game, I believe, that have water. Oh, well, I guess three if you include Andy's Neighborhood. This is the one that has water the most extensively on, though. This reminds me of Monsters, Inc. music. There is a Monsters, Inc. Not action game, but Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. That's interesting. Not at all. It has nothing to do with the movie. It's basically just like, yeah, we wanted to make a Monsters, Inc. game. There's also Monsters, Inc. Dodgeball, which is not a good game by any means, but it's very fun. Maybe I'll do a one-off, like, multiplayer Let's Play of that eventually. 
So yeah, until we get the grappling hook, we're not going to be able to get to half of this stuff. Alright, give me that green laser. I think we can get the ham token. It's going to be tough, but... Yeah, the mother duck. Hi, guys. I've lost all my baby ducklings. If you can find all five of them and come to see me, I'll give you a pizza planet token. Alright. How did I miss this coin? And Oh, new area. That's why. Yeah, pick up all the moolah you can find. Do do do. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Neither rain, nor sleet, nor snow, nor hail can stop him. Even though I stole that from the post office, this slogan. Whoa, hi. Oh yeah, and this is fun. These wires actually have electric currents going through them occasionally, so you need to time when you hop on. This is a Toy Story 3. Let's get these dumpsters out of here. John, later, John Ratzenberger. Whoa, hi. Someone forgot to take down all of their watermelons. I'll come to you later, Ham. Hey. That's better. That was fun. Oh no, my coin! Stupid aerial enemies. Hey, there's a duck. Even though we can't even save them all, we might as well grab him. Ooh, secret underwater passageway. Gives us a one-up we don't need! Buzz Lightyear's the best, isn't he? Alright, let's get out of the mud. Back to the market. There's that little Pizza Planet token. We can't get there just yet! We can push that crate, but I don't really see a whole lot of purpose to do so. Ah, uh, well, we might as well, I guess. Once you hit a certain switch that actually you want the crate to be in its default position, because it provides you a nice little shortcut. Oh, that's right. We get the disc launcher, which actually will come in handy for some of the enemies we're going to face up here, because even the green laser doesn't affect them. Ham, I promise I'll give you the money once I have it. Hearing ducks. Oh boy! Hey, hey! Bow! I do like how all the five collectibles on each level give you some like audio cue as to where they are, because they're kind of hard to find on some levels, namely the second to last level. Yeah, these guys. Oh come on, Buzz! You've got to, you've got to work with me. Grab on when I tell you to. But the one thing about this game that's annoying is like Buzz sometimes just doesn't grab, especially on the poles you need to swing over. Yeah, like it. I should have grabbed that, but. At least they're pretty generous about if you fall from an area. It's usually not that brutal, because they like to put in shortcuts for you. This game is for your kids, after all. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Alright, so that's going to turn on the fan. That'll help us get the Pizza Planet token over there. There's a lot of money up on these umbrellas. Just be careful not to fall off.
That's where you're gonna get most of your ham money. Aw, oh, Buzz! You're only hurting your house self. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Good advice, Buzz. I love how he just randomly says Buzz Light your fans throughout the game. Ah. Okay, okay, apparent collecting the coins can also sometimes be weird. Like sometimes you just pass right through them. Alright. Climb the banner, Buzz. Yeah. And like I've said, this isn't even half the course. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. So again, that can help you out. Wait, we don't even need to ride the balloons, we can just get that. <laughs> Normally you have to turn on the fan so you can ride the balloons across, but you, that works too. Oh, wow, this is going to be a short episode. Well done, Buzz. Here's your pizza planet token. Alright, we've done all we can on this level. And beyond. Ugh, yeah. No comment on the boss just yet. But it is the creepiest boss in the game by far. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to save my game. Thanks, Linky. Alright, that was such a short level, we're totally doing the boss level swine time. Once again, a totally made up boss. Yeah, that that's not in Toy Story 2. This, this is something that belongs in Monsters, Inc. Let's just shoot him, he'll get smaller. And then he'll get bigger again. Oh, it locks on, even if you're in the air. Thank you for that. Alright, you'll notice the green laser just appeared. You're gonna need that. Because he's just too darn big now. Goodbye. Wow, that was easy. He dealt a lot of damage, though. Two and <laughs> and beyond. Such a random boss. Boss defeated! Alright, do I want to do another level? I don't know, bonus will be awarded. Which one's this? Oh, that's right. Okay, here's our chance. Ready, set, go! Man, this is making me want to watch Toy Story 2 again. plan's not exactly foolproof, because there are plenty of cars that don't really care if they run over cones. I said drop! Go! You'd think someone would have noticed that they're moving around. Drop! Man, as a kid, I never realized just how, like, dangerous this was for them. <laughs> wow, Mr. Potato Head just warped to the very end of that. Ah, oh, that went well. Well done. Well done. Oh man, do I want to do another episode, so... Or do I, do I want to do another level? Ah, uh, you, you know what? Nah, I like to keep it at one level per day, so... 
Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode of Toy Story 2 Action Game. We're going to be going to Al's Toy Barn. An awesome level. Actually, this whole next world is awesome. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.